found what to play next. We're bringing everything that is awesome in gaming like this. We're going to do more Observer. It is scary. And you guys love scary. I jump scare so easily. You're just cruel to me, you guys. But it was incredibly well done. Um, this is the Redux. So, um... They, they're, like, really into uh, the Blade Runner style. And it was so well done that they did bring it back. Um, in the time so of creepy. your life, live. You're looking so for in that good time, there should be no ugliness or death for yourself or for any life your life touches. Seek goodness everywhere. And when it is found, bring it out of its hiding place and let it be free and unashamed. Place in matter and in flesh, the least of the values. For these are the things that hold death and must pass away. Discover in all things that which shines and is beyond corruption. They encourage Gosh. virtue and whatever heart it may have been driven into secrecy and sorrow. Whoa. Despise evil and ungodliness. But not men of ungodliness or evil. Please understand. Ignore the obvious. For it is unworthy of the clear eye and kindly heart. Clear eyes and a kindly heart. In the time of your life, live so that in that wondrous time you shall not add to the misery and sorrow of the world, but shall smile to the infinite delight and mystery of it. So, you play the Pope. You're part of the establishment, son. Um, you're an observer, but your son contacts you after a lot of years. Apparently, we think he's dead. And so, we're trying to track down his apartment so we can find out like what is going on. Um, they told us where it is, so we're navigating around the back there. We just know, like, heavy rain started out this way. We were kind of like this... You seem like this Joe Schmo, but there's something going on there. And you wind up in this, uh, and rather than doing grit, they did horror. So you wind up in this horrifying landscape of like, new future, um, where it's not really the future, they just covered it up with neon lights. So it was such an incredible idea to take what's obviously a tenement house, and then they just put like, like fluorescent over so you couldn't really see it. It's supposed to be just another night on the job. All it took was one phone call to turn Dan Lazarski's life upside down. To hear his son's voice after all these years, Dan managed to trace the call to run down tenement building one of the city's worst neighborhoods. Adam had to be in one of these apartments. So this is how brilliant this game was. They give you a summary because you're about to go back in to the chapter. So even though I'm we're facing a wall here, <laughs> even though that's true, we still, uh, you know, still got it going on. We still know what's up. All right, so you are here. There's the ground floor. There's the tattoo shop. Um, back to menu. Where is my wristwatch? That's that's what we're calling this. Locate apartment 07. The janitor gave me the number of Adam apartment heading there now, and then that's you, obviously. Uh, you have to take your medication, which I just did. And then you have your collectibles. So here's 07, and you are here. So we're going to go out, we're going to make it right. Nope, that's a tattoo shop. Hold on. We go out, we're facing the tattoo shop. Go out, still go out and make it right, I guess. And then go around. Okay. Go out, there's the tattoo shop. Also, the tattoo shop doesn't look like it. <laughs> They're telling me it is. And then it's right here. Oh no. Oh wow. Yeah, so look at this. They put like these grids over it. It automatically just covers it up so that it looks like a normal city, you know? 
Not that anything about the city is normal. You can't jump, which is my one pet peeve. It really bothers me when you can't climb in any way. Um, I don't like the feeling of having my feet rooted to the ground. For some reason that troubles me. <laughs> Whatever. So I found a map, but for some reason it didn't help me. Oh, you have to align this up, I think. Nope. That's my, uh, my GameCube. My, um, wristwatch. Why isn't that opening yet? Oh, there, that's why. I have to select it. That's, I'm gonna keep doing this. I love it when I pick the wrong button. She's my favorite, sir. She's my favorite. Not letting me back in there. Oh, because I'm standing in front of it? For real? It's just that mad at me. I guess I'll just go. That is as far as it opens? I don't believe you. Hold on. Let me see this. I want to see this in real life. There we go. What is up? Because I know that you manipulate things in this. You know, like, there's a lot of interesting things that you can. But, uh... So, apartment 7. Third floor, second floor. It's 007, so it is on the first floor. Third floor, ground floor. I am now here. And there is 7 over in the corner. How strange is this? Do I have to go through the ventilation shafts? I think so. We'll run. We'll do stuff. I can't go out the front. Okay, well, we're going out the back then. Can I go through here? Hold on. This looks like I can. This is just this guy's house, right? Irado. Hold up. What did it say? Can I climb this? Oh, it just, it seemed like it. Just for a second there. So they take me to an ad? This is so futuristic. Kind of seeing it though. Like where that would be the future. Alright. Here's our original door. We got this one. We got it. Alright. We can probably walk through things. So we'll walk straight on through. Right? No. That's down. Oh, yes, yes. You're seeing it. No! Fudge. How about you? What do you got for me? Oh, one. Oh, three. Can we go in other places? I mean, do we want to? Okay, we can. Look at how Tron this is, you know? The shame closet. They have to share one. Those poor things. How do they call the ancestors? Oh, five. Oh, four. Oh, okay. This way. Hermes. And then it's like wired directly into it. Wait, where's 07? Oh, probably across the way. 07. There it is. There it is. Oh my gosh, what is on there? What is going on? Oh, they're here. What the heck? I can see myself. How cool is that? Usually you can't when you look down. Oh, I can manipulate objects though. So that's kind of cool. Is he stylish? Is this weird? Is he a stylish dresser? I want to know. He does okay. He's got like, what, an extra mantle and a weird collar. I mean, what is that? The other ones are pretty skate punk. Cyberpunk. You're a punk. Alrighty. What is. Oh no! No, no, no. What the heck? Right. Right. That's where that goes. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is Azarsky, ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Help me. 
Maybe it's not him. It doesn't have to be. Oh my god. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 65621 setting up a crime scene. Press right button to activate. I need to check the victim's compass for connection. Whoa. What trigger? Six million volts wasn't enough. Holy cow. What's this here? Agent in. Gotta start somewhere. Missed call. Press left button and activate biovision. ID check. Failure. Time of death. About an hour ago. Before he called me. Holy cow. Okay, so it was before I called him. Oh wow. Homo sapien. Failed to extract forensic data. Molecule. Structural damage detected. Nothing else. Oh, wait, there's this. Failed to extract contaminants detected. That's interesting. So there's some way to block that or something. That's weird. That is crazy. Somebody dragged it there. Looks like. Wow, that is. Ignored what? What did we ignore? I need to know. I didn't ignore it. I'm, he I'm here. Not ignoring. Right here. Right here. Not ignoring. So I have different ways that I can examine the scene of the crime. Oh, there's something in front of it. Hold on, let me turn off my vision here and see what's going on. So I can't get to it because Maleko is in the way. That's weird. What is it? What is it? I can't pick anything up. Oh, I can interact with everything. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Can I see anything anywhere else? You know? Propane? That's a strange thing to store under a sink. Oh, that's not a sink at all. Wow. So you can really interact with a bowl environment. Um, you won't necessarily be able to jump them. What's that? Left button is biovision. Controlled substance 45F. feed. You've never touched this ground. Okay. That's bad. Alright. Ignored. Why is it glitching me like this? Why do you want to do me like this, homie? I can't zoom when it says ignored. No. Oh, wait. Here's something right here. So you get to be a, a real detective. You get to actually like look around and you know see what you can see. Uh, so this is your apartment. Doesn't so that's mean him. It's your fault. And there's a dead body in it. Holy cow! That is insanity. What is that like? You know, like after all these years, you show up. And there's just carnage. Wait, there's something over here. I thought I saw something on there. Gotta open the door or something. Okay, there we go. I can't open it. Why can't I open the door? This? Am I standing in front of it? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> Getting to... Getting to know this is an interesting conundrum. Chiron Incorporated. Oh, I found it. Chiron okay. Clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Whoa, crazy. So he's working for Chiron, and that's why I wasn't able to contact him. 
So this is, there's layers in this apartment. Oh my gosh. You know, with that. It's, I'm gonna have to la actually label this one. Headless body is kind of outside the norm. No bio, nothing? What are you ignoring, friend? Like, what am I missing? Might be on the other side. Might be that I just can't get to it. I guess it like logs everything that I ignore. Well, let's check our mission. Let's see what it says to do next. Leave apartment. Hold on. Lockdown triggered apartment. Five auxiliary auxiliary security system. My friends exertion my only time to deactivate it. You need to find the woman who tried to contact the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HM. Interesting. Alright. So the apartment goes into lockdown. I can't leave. Oh well, that's that already happened. Okay. Guess I triggered a security system. Holy Must cow. Be a way to deactivate it. So we're stuck inside here. Link in the description below. Like I said, this is an incredible ride because it really just was compassionate to the player. Like it reached out to you and made you want to play it. Um, so you can interact with everything. You have your bionic vision where you're actually, you know, just Superman. It makes sense that you're in the future. It makes you want to be a part of it, you know. It makes you want to interact and search the apartment like it's a crime scene. Um, every time I have to ignore something, I cringe, you know. I want to look at it with both parts of my vision. I feel like that's a part of, you know, my HUD. What happened here? Like, what can I do here? It doesn't look like anything. I mean, I guess if I can't grab onto it, that I can't move it, right? It looks like somebody else was sleeping here. That's interesting. Kind of like taking pictures, you know? There's got to be an alarm system. Hold on. It's got to be in here. There's no way it's not. This is the... This is central. That's where the fuse box is. We all know these things, friend. Why are you messing with me, homie? We know. We know it's right here. Looking at us. And I can't help on the counter. It's definitely my act out. When I can't figure something out, I always want to hop up on the counter. All right, so that's what a door is this. What's going on here? That's the bathroom front door. Oh, what's this? This looks so important, you know? This looks like something we can interact with. Nothing, huh? Oh, what the heck? Look at that. What the fuck do we have in here? Clowers. That's insanity level. Some sort of... Beast that he's came after him. Hold up, what's this? It just flashed numbers at me. That is crazy. That doesn't look any different. But then I threw back to regular vision, okay. So there there was something in here. And you can't just see it with bio. Like you have to know. There's stuff that I can interact with out there, but I can't get to it. Mostly it's tech. And there's nothing here. Okay, nothing for that. So we have to find the way out now. We're very find the way out focused. We've got the baton. We've got some sort of chip or something on him, which I missed. That's okay. I'm gonna analyze is that. With an ID mixer. So it made it look like he was dead. Not possible. Damn it. What a smart move. That kicked off the security, so that's why that went down. And what do we have over here? That's the baton. We have something, oh, it's two meters away. So that's outside of the apartment. It looks like that's happening a lot with that. Is anything lined up? That would be so weird if you lined up. Like, 
What did I do? I just ignored this so I can interact with it or? No, it ignores it and I can't interact with it. How strange. So it just doesn't think it's important, you know? It'll give me clues, but not answers. So I don't know the way out, you know? Something to do with the blood and then the claws. And then there's stuff outside the apartment, which is important, but not much. So even if I click on it, if it's technology, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an answer there. Definitely analyze the whole crime scene. So step one is done. Ignored. It's behind it. It's like lined up behind it. He's got his technology pointed at stuff, which is really weird. Oh, what is this? Nothing according to that, but something according to this. Can't get close enough. Oh, I can. It's the hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. I might be able to decode it later. Link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Train. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. Put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. I want my storage units to look a bit like that. Look at that. Picked up data storage unit. Identify the caller. And leave the permit. So that's it, huh? I gotta loot the place. That is so cool. Um, hey, well, five I just took a coffee one dollar make me smile. You can support us on Patreon. Obviously, there's a lot of incredible stuff out there. We do try to find all of it. Um, link in the description below. Like I said, all the links are down there. Most of all, smash subscribe. If you smash subscribe and you hit the bell, pop you up a little thumbnail. So if you're in the mood for some more Observer, you know, if you wanted to see that ignored, why is it ignoring them? It must be that they're not important, you know? Like, obviously, when it scanned it, it noticed it as electronics, but that's it. All right, I got to get a little more information on, you know, how to how to escape the lockdown. We found out that it wasn't our son, but somebody certainly set it up to make it look like it was. Um, from there, you know, anybody's guess. I don't know how the wardrobe was involved. You know, I don't really understand that. But it's definitely lined up with outside equipment. And that's just weird the way that he did that. There's a certain um, symmetry to the apartments, but yeah, every single one of them has something behind it. What is this? Hold on, I found something. Printed on real paper. An archaic for you, Adam. Right here. There we go. What are these? processors. That's it? Come on, guys. All right. Link in the description below. Also on the Gamer Grind. Uh, you got KOFI. You got all sorts of good stuff going on. But most of all, smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell. We love you guys. We know that you are always along for the ride. That you root just as hard as we do to, you know, get her done. We'll see you next video. Well, what good did that do? This nonsense. I can see what in here now. A motherboard? That's what I did that for? So you want to examine a motherboard? You know what that is? Now what? I can do this, I swear. Just want to beat you. Why can't I do that? Oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, you mock me. You made it look like one. I see how it is for you. Turn on my bionic scanner. Now what? Now what? Solved a puzzle. You know that? We'll look it up. Ask around. Get her done.